So I would presume he knows how to pick up his feet if he stands for the farrier. See, pulling on the lead rope really doesn't seem, he doesn't know what it means. He just kind of throws his head and he's like, what? <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> and that's why I said I don't want to shank him right off the bat. You know, I want to give him the choice to be a good kid. This, when you're turning towards him, you should turn away. Good boy. Wow, is he tall. I really thought he was shorter than this. Yeah, you can see ribs. I'm not too thrilled with that fact. He's definitely one of those where if he's scared, he likes to be on your lap. <laughs> I don't know, the more I look at him and the more I think Spectre, the more I like the name. Good boy. So that's because I'm starting to understand what you want. Now, is he eunect or is he just young and no muscle tone? He's awkward young. <laughs> I remember Ringo, he just, he pretty much looked exactly So this is like the teenage stage. Yeah, this is normal. I mean, yeah. Because do you know what eunect is? It's when it's kind of loop. Yeah. And it just looks like he has nice, distinct withers, not that he's necessarily eunuched. You want to try a fly mask on him? He's pretty good. I don't even know if he has any. I've been told he has one partially descended. He does hit himself. You're too good of a mover. You hit yourself. That's not very clever of you. And I am eventually going to get him used to walking on both leads. Because I want him to be used to having somebody on both sides. He's like, you're on the wrong side, lady. He's trying to get on your other side. Yep. <laughs> You've got two eyes. You've got two sides of your brain, too. That's why I want him to be able to lead on both sides. Come on, turn. Turn your, turn your body. But, but you're on the wrong side. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> if you push on his neck, he will turn for you. All right, I'm going to trade and have you do camera. <laughs> 